Today's lesson is about multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. I have a basic fact, like 5 times 7, I know that that equals 35. In this chapter, we're going to be getting into multi-digit multiplication, but if we have tens, hundreds, and thousands, there's an easy pattern that we can follow. So if I have 5 times 70, I have the same basic fact, 5 times 7, and I just have an additional 0. So 5 times 7 is 35, and then I have my extra 0. So 5 times 7 is 35, 1, 0, so I add 1, 0. Same pattern continues. If I have 5 times 7 hundreds, I have 35 hundreds with two zeros. So once again, 5 times 7 is 35, 1, 2, zeros, 1, 2, zeros. And again, 5 times 7 thousands, 5 times 7 thousands is 35 thousands, plus 1, 2, 3, zeros. So we can continue this pattern on forever. 5 times 7 is 35, and however many zeros, if there were 10 zeros, we'd add 10 zeros. If there's 3, we add 3. Now that we know this pattern, here's a couple example problems that I'll do. So 4 times 60. I can use my basic fact of 4 times 6 equals 24. I have 1 zero. So I add one zero. Second example, seven times three thousand. So my basic fact is seven times three, which is twenty-one. Then I have three zeros, so I add three zeros. Okay. Now I want you to do this problem as a practice problem. Then after you can pause it and we'll check your work. Okay, six times two is 12. Six times 20 is 120. Six times 200 is 1,200. And six times 2,000 is 12,000. Okay, next practice problems. I want you to do 3 times 40, and then 8 times 200. Go ahead and pause. Okay, 3 times 40 equals 120, and 8 times 200 equals 1,600. Here's your first problem that we'll check in class. Finish this pattern. 7 times 4, 7 times 40, 7 times 400, and 7 times 4,000. And your last two problems solve 3 times 90 and 8 times 400. Thank you for listening and have a great day.